Cheers, everybody. Welcome back to another beer review. And in this beer review, I'm very, very excited. Very, very excited with this because we've got a beer from a brewery I've wanted to try for years. Literally years. Um, and I've always seen this beer in big, larger bottles. Um, to be honest, I've, I've found uh, it quite hard to get some of the uh to get beers from this brewery and that's why i never really um bought any um mainly down to the price and the availability really we're off to cantillon in brussels in in fact in, i think they're based in the andelect region of brussels a brewery which was founded in 1900 cantillon is famous for lambic style beers creeks that type of thing and we've got a goose, and for me, goose. I'm not pronouncing this right. Goose is very much an acquired taste. Um, it is dismissed. If 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 you're not used to goose, you would dismiss it as something which is just horrible, vinegary. But over the course of this channel, and one of the reasons why I. I started this channel was to find you know to learn you know about beer and to to learn about different styles of beer you start to really appreciate the amount of effort that goes into brewing a beer like this so we've got cantillon goose clocking in at 5.5 percent abv this bottle was seven pounds 75 from the trembling madness uh shop um it's the first time i've seen them in so i thought i had to pick one up um i did have a creek there but it was in a larger bottle i think it was about 15 quid a bit a bit bit steep for a creek so this is the one i've been wanting to try though the standard goose now this is a blend of a, f a few lambics i think in this brew and it's basically stored um well basically they they age it in an oak barrel for a year it's three oak barrels for a year then i think they store it for a further year i, I could be wrong uh in bottles um so yeah i'm looking forward to this definitely so Let's crack this open. Um, one of my beers of the year of this chat on this channel was a, a lambic, and that was a Timmermans one. Uh, what Morrison's did. Um, highly recommend you to, to try it. It's about six quid a bottle, um, a three thirty bottle, I think it was as well. Uh, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So, looking forward to this. I really am. I just love this style of beer. I really do. So let's crack it open. Oh, it's got a cork. The cork that comes off the top. Then there's a. <laughs> I've got to get a bloody corkscrew. Hang a minute. Apologies for that, boys and girls. Right, just had to go downstairs and uh, take the cork out. So basically, that was bottle top was sat on top of that. Took that off, and um, yeah. Bottled in Brussels, seasoned, to give you the seed. I'll show you the cork, because um, it says Brasserie Cantillon. You see that? Bottled in Brussels, seasons 21, 22. Obviously, this beer um, changes every year because the beer uh, gets tasted by um, the brewer, or blender, if you want to call them that, in um, the brewery. So... Uh, I'd imagine that I don't know how long you could age this. I could say some years. I don't know what the best before is. I see if I can find the best before one for you, but I would say you'd be able to age this for plenty, plenty of years. Um, it says bottled on the eighth of June, twenty twenty-two. Um, it does. I don't see you. You'll have a best before on it, but I don't know where some of these can go for for years, years, literally. Let's get a whiff. Oh, nice that beautiful funkiness there coming through. Nice sap of the, 
get the yolk barrel, you get a wild, funky nose to it. Herbaceousness. It just smells absolutely gorgeous. It does. So let's pour it out like you do. Nice and careful. There we go. Little bit lively. Does that, that calm down a little bit? It is it's, it's uh very lively, loads of carbonation. Get that rest of put rest of it poured in. Does that settle down for me? <laughs> it's a bit it's a bit mad. A bit like me, it's a little bit mad. So what we have is a beautiful gold amberish colour. I'm just pouring in now the cloud of a beautiful cloud going in now. We've got an ivory looking head to it. Stick that there. So we've got an ivory looking head. Beautiful, beautiful looking, loads of carbonation. Let's get a whiff. And yeah, you get get a hint of oak barrel there straight off the bat. You get slight dried fruitness there as well. I mean it smells it's 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 a you know a style of beer all on its own and it smells all on its own it really does it's just a got its beautiful funkiness to this I can't wait I'm gonna go in cheers everybody Superb. That is superb. I'm going again. The sourness runs straight through it. The tartness runs straight through it. Slightly acidic on the front end. Soft mouthfeel. Very soft mouthfeel. Dry fruit notes come to mind on the front end. There is a, a slight herbaceous feel in this. You do pick up a hint of sweetness from the yolk barrel there, definitely. Slightly dry on the back end. Going again. It's just a beautiful, beautiful smooth feel in the mouth. And everything's delicate. Everything's, there's an air of delicacy about this. Delicate. It's all delicate. Because you've got beautiful tartness, beautiful sourness. Running straight down. Then it's like branches tailing off with bits of you know dry fruit a bit of grape there and when you're picking out all these flavors the herbaceous flavor this is tartness still running through the taste it's absolutely cracking it is um absolutely i would love to visit them I really would. You know, you can tell, you know, care has been taken in this beer. You know, you can feel the love drinking it, for sure. But, like I say, this is very much an acquired taste for some. And for the likes of me, you know, this is absolutely beautiful and I will definitely buy it again. So, boys and girls, it's a good in this. One more for the road. 
that's beautiful i'm gonna just take my time with that and enjoy it thank you very much for watching this one canty on goose very happy man drying this one hopefully get some more get the creek maybe next thank you very much for watching this one please subscribe murder me in the comments brilliant love it bib bib